Ebony, congratulations. Not only your team win, but a personal accolade. How do you feel about that? Um, unreal. Um, it's been an awesome couple of days and, um, you know, it's a team effort to top it off with a Rising Star a nominee today, but couldn't have done it without my teammates and it's just an unreal feeling. How happy were you with your own performance? Yeah, pretty good. Um, obviously, it's good to come into the season um, with a good end of um, pre-season behind us um, at the Adelaide Football Club, but as I said before, I wouldn't have been able to do it without my team, so overall a team effort, but um, obviously stoked with a nominee. Could you sum up uh, your emotions, Eb, from the day? I mean... Is, from having been there, it was remarkable to watch. How did you feel about it? Honestly, it's um, it's all a bit of a blur to me. Um, the whole you know the whole day was unreal, and the atmosphere was insane. And you know we just thank the the support of the Adelaide Football Club and the fans that came along and put on such a good show for us to play a good brand of footy. And obviously to get a win on such a historic day um, was insane. And I just can't wait to see what this um, league brings in the next few weeks. Have you had a chance to sit back and reflect on it? Have you watched the game and? Are there certain moments where you go, yeah, I kind of remember that happening? Honestly, not. It's um, a bit of a blur of the game. I've obviously been trying to do um, a lot of game analysis. Um, leading up to the next game, we obviously need to look what we've done well and what we need to improve on. But um, obviously trying to focus um, for Friday night's game. But um, we have done a bit of game analysis and we'll continue to do with the week. But um, we do believe that you know our game strategies and if we perform how we did on um, Saturday afternoon, we should um, give it a good crack on Friday night. How happy was Beck after uh, after Saturday? Uh, she was stoked. We all were. It was just an insane day, unreal at atmosphere, and you know, a historic day. And to have 10,000 fans come out and watch um, the Adelaide Football Club women's team was insane. And I just can't really find words to describe it. Um, but continuing on, we've got a game to play on Friday night. Um, after this, you know, back to training tonight and focus for Friday night's game. What's the vibe and the energy, I guess, like around the girls at the moment? It's pretty good. Um, obviously, we're all happy and to get a win for your first game and to put an AFL um, Guernsey on for the first time, you obviously want to you know, get the win and do your club proud. But like I said, we've got another six games to play, so a win's good for the first round, but we need to continue on looking forward to the season ahead of us. Ebony, it wouldn't have been that long ago since you would have been one of the Oz kickers running around there having a go. Can you believe how far the game's come? No, definitely not. Um, I was in position. I played Oz kick when I was five years old and then went through, you know, under under eights to under 14s with the boys. Um, majority of my time in junior football, I was the only girl in my team. So to now know that there's a foundation of girls teams right up into under 14s and, you know, Auskick have girls, girls, just girls teams. So it's unreal. And honestly, the AFL have done such an amazing job to get this league up and going. It was meant for 2020, but to know that I'm a 19 year old uh, starting my football like many of the other boys, um, I couldn't be happy with the result and I just know that this league is going to take off and I'm so excited that I'm a part of it. Do you think growing up playing against some guys in primary school maybe helped you lay some of the tackles? <laughs> I think was it six tackles you laid? <laughs> yeah, no definitely. Um, I'm a big bodied so um, tackling should be um, part of my strength and it is. Um, obviously going through footy with the boys I was obviously up against uh, a lot bigger body so I think that has definitely helped my foundation of um, you know strength throughout my football. Um, so yeah. Obviously grateful for what I did through my junior football, but um, it's awesome to be around, you know, women and see that little girls are playing with, you know, girls and it's unreal that there is an AFL Women's League and honestly, like I said, I can't find words to describe it. To be standing here today, um, you know, knowing that they have AFL NAB Rising Star of the Ward like they do for the boys. If you look back three years ago when I was just playing state footy and representing you know, more for a football club and to be standing here today, it's honestly an unreal feeling and I'm so grateful to be part of Adelaide Football Club. Was there anything, I mean, you know, you prepared and very well and everything else, but it was the first match. Was there anything that jumped out at you and you know, wow? Um, I think obviously going into the league, it is all so unknown. Like, I was fortunate enough to play in the um, Melbourne team last year against Western Bulldogs in the last um, expedition match. Um, so obviously I know a few girls across Australia and, you know, what their strengths and that are. But like I said, the teams put together, it's a new foundation. It's all unknown. We just go into every game, you know, believing in our strategy and our game plan and um, see where the night takes us, I guess. But like I said, it's, it really is an unknown league, mm. but it's awesome. That's the best part about it. Mm. Just talking about that, you face the uh, Western Bulldogs this Friday night. Uh, how much have you had a look at them and uh, how tough are they going to be? Um, obviously, they are premiership favourites and um, they put on a good show um, Saturday night against Frio, which are also a tough team to beat. But I think, you know, we've 
got faith in our um, team team plays and etc. That you know we can give them a good um, good shot. Obviously, like I said, they're a strong team, but we haven't been trying to focus too much on them. Um, we've had a good win. We'll have a good couple of days on training track and head over to Melbourne Thursday afternoon and you know give it a good crack. Um, we're not really too worried about the opposition. Like I said, it's a one known. So if you just stick to your strategies and your game plans, we should do okay. Well, I don't know, footy sits pretty well with you as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, playing at Witten Oval, it's such an unreal um, ground, and being over in Melbourne, it's a uh, it's a big fuss over there, the AFL. So I think it'll be an incredible match. Like I said, it's our second match. Um, what what better night to be on a you know a Friday night? So yeah, obviously can't wait to get over there. Another game's awesome. I love playing footy. I just want to do it. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. Is there, is there a part of it that's about more than footy for you, Eb? Like being a role model and it was, I mean it was while it was footy, it was breaking down a few barriers. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was unreal. Um, yeah, obviously I do look to be a role model. Like I think it's amazing. I've spent my you know past five years looking up to Courtney Cramey and. You know, played some state footy with her and she was my captain. I She coached me and I've looked up to her a lot. Um, and to be standing and putting on AFL Guernsey with her is pretty special. So I know that I've had that. I wanted to look at, up to people. So I think that that's definitely what I want to be able to do. I want to, you know, produce, you know, female football and go through the rise. And I know little girls look up to not only myself, but the rest of the team. And it's pretty special to know that. You see little girls, you know, wanting to put your number on the back and that's just unreal. And I mean, who would have thought that we'd be here today? Being one of the first Crows players selected, did you feel any pressure going into the game to perform? Um, first round draft pick? <laughs> uh, not really. I guess you just got to believe in your game. and It's just a game of footy. Um, every game's just as important as another. And um, you know, going pick number one for the LA Football Club was obviously a cherished moment for me. But at the end of the day, when you walk into the club, you know, every single teammate, it doesn't matter what pick you are, you're, you're, you're even. And if you just go out and play a role, um, you know, it's a good team effort at the end of the day. So just team first. Was there anything this week that you looked at and think, yeah, we need to do this better as a team for um, the weekend? Not really. Um, we've just, obviously, we've... Um, done a bit of our own um, game analysis last night with the Durham crew. Um, we'll look a bit more in depth um, at an individual basis, but I'm um, just looking at, you know, some of our weeks and what we're good at and just, you know, trying to fix them up and putting on a good brand of footy against the Western Bulldogs um, and give it our best shot.